hey guys today we will see how to install esp8266 esp32 spi ppps file system uploader plugin in arduino ide it is very useful in uh, web server coding for esp8266 and esp32 spi ppps stands for serial peripheral interface flash file system so both ESP32 and ESP266 contains and support a SPI FFS. SPI FFS is a lightweight file system created for microcontrollers with a flash chip. Microcontroller with flash chip support SPI FFS. This tutorial shows how to easily upload files to the ESP8266 and ESP32 file system using a plugin or Arduino ID. Generally, we include HTML web page code in a sketch itself for web server coding. So this makes our code very hard to read and you will run out of memory rather quickly. So SPI WebS lets you access the flash memory as if it is how was a normal file system like uh, one of your computer file system but much simpler of course you can read and write files and create folders so with spi apps you can write html and css separate in separated file and save them on a esp8266 flash file system for ESP8266, there is a plugin for Arduino ID that allows you to upload files directly to the ESP8266 file system from folder in your computer. This makes really easy and simple to work with the files. So let's install it. First make sure that you have latest Arduino ID installed and ESP8266 board installed into that Arduino ID and then follow these next steps given in this following github page on this one we will give this link in the description of this video go to this uh, this uh, github page where all this procedure is given in a detail here is uh, open the github page here this one page here is the procedure is given for ESP8266 file system uploader for Arduino IDE as shown in. Here is the installation procedure. First make sure you use one of the supported version of Arduino IDE and have ESP8266 code installed on it. Then go to this release page. We have to download tool archive from this page here. Here is that page you can you have to download tool archive from this release page here just click on that zip file it will pop up for download or save you can just click on save and click ok ok it will get downloaded then it will get downloaded then in your Arduino sketchbook directory create tools directory if it doesn't exist then in sketchbook directory you have to create this uh, tools folder unpack this zip file in that directory it will look like such that directory slash tools spi fps and a tool slash jar file and then restart your Arduino ID. let's get started just find your Arduino ID, go to Preferences, then go to Sketchbook Location. You will find the installation directory of Arduino there. Here is the Arduino installation directory. You can find here Tools, go to Tools, you can see here make a new folder here okay what they have said you have to create a tools directory if 
इट डजेंट एग्जिस्ट ये ओके एंड अनपैक दैट zip file we have just downloaded into that directory so here go to folder downloaded folder here is that zip file just extract it click on extract here okay extract it okay it get extracted here is that folder named esp8266fs just click on it folder that is uh, in that folder there is a tool okay now what they have said you have to put that uh, esp8266fs folder in tools directory directly so copy this esp8266 folder or you can cut it just go to your arduino's tools for directory and tools and paste it their esp8266 file system in tools you can here see here path so here and restart the arduino ide okay just close the arduino ide and restart it usage okay now open the arduino id here to verify is it correctly get installed uploader plugin just go to tools and you can find here option of esp8266 cache data upload you can see here this one so it get if it get successfully installed plugin then you will find this option on there so this procedure was for esp266 now let's go for esp32 click on the another github link as shown in go to this uh, github page here it is for esp8266 we have seen earlier now it is for esp32 now go to release page of that uh, archive download that tool es you can see here file name esp32fs okay same you have to check for you have install arduino id and esp32 development board score and you have to follow the simple same procedure we have followed earlier for esp32 just download that zip file okay save it yeah save it it got downloaded go to that folder esp 32 fs go to that folder okay you have to extract it it will get uh, folder get generated esp 32 fs just cut or copy that folder and go to same directory where we have pasted the esp 8266 directory folder and just paste it there here like this okay all right in arduino tools yeah now you can verify your installation is successful or not you have to just restart your arduino id and then check for it uh, tool get installed or not reopen the arduino id okay now arduino id is reopening just go to tools and you can find here both esp8266 and esp32 sketch data upload option when you click that option you can upload the data into spi ffs file system all right now we will see how to upload web server's data into 
uh, ESP32 LoRa development board using SPI FFS plugin. So we have already seen how to install SPI FFS plugin into an Arduino IDE. Web server's uh, data uh, is uh, saved in this data folder. So you have to first create folder named data into your sketch folder. So this is your sketch folder and into that sketch folder this is your sketch Arduino sketch of ESP32 LoRa web server code here so you have to create a folder named data into that folder you have to put web servers code which is index.html and background uh, image jpg file so these two files you have to save in that folder here in data folder so this folder will get uploaded into flash memory of ESP32 development board LoRa development board let's see how to upload that first we will, in, we will open this sketch this will open Arduino IDE you can see here ok now this go, uh, sketch is got opened let's see how to upload it so first you have to connect the ESP32 development board so I have already connected it you we can check uh, here it is connected to the COM6 you can see here the board name is TTGO LoRa OLED ESP32 development board it is uh, connected to the COM6 here okay you can also verify here it is on COM6 let's see how to upload that data here you have you will get option when you install ESPI FFS plugin here the option will get enabled the option is ESP32 sketch data upload uh, after you click on this uh, option you uh, whatever in your data folder you just have seen whatever in this folder these two files will get uploaded into flash memory app so let's see just click on this hold okay now ESP tool you can see here it is connected to the COM6 okay now uploading is started SPI FFS uploading image okay it is 100% alright Oh, all right you can see here log that auto detected flash size okay flash size of esp32 is uh, we are using is 4 mb and we have uploaded the image and all these files using spi ffs plugin into flash memory of esp32 development board all right this is the procedure I will again show you where is the option here is that option this option will get enabled only you have first you have to install the SPI FFS plugin into this Arduino ID alright 